何をしても太る Hey guys, it's Victor. Give me a break, man. Give me a flake, man. Out jogging. I'm wearing a, an army shirt, but if you look closely, you can see it's actually got smiley faces. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's actually smiley faces on there. I hope this is in focus. Using an iPhone 5 camera.、Uh, you know, iPhone 5 camera. It's, it's, a, it's a telephone, actually. Anyway, I'm out jogging, trying to get in shape. Doing this by myself.、Uh, last time you guys saw me do this, I was telling you about italki.com. Let me get to that, but wait a minute. Hear me out. I think I got something good for you today, as you can see by the title. Something we can all take part in.、Uh, so, italki.com is a site where you can learn any language you want, right?、Uh, and I was thinking about the, the similarities between exercising and, and、uh, learning the language and how, you know, you can do quite a bit by yourself, right? But as you can tell, I'm actually I'm just, I'm kind of okay up here. I'm kind of, you know, I, got, I, can, I know how to build muscle and stuff, but I'm having a problem. With the old belly, right? The old belly fat. I'm trying to get rid of the love handles and such. And I was thinking about,、uh, oh, I think I need a coach. I need some professional help here. And I was thinking about the similarities between language because, you know, with language, you can learn a lot of vocabulary by yourself. You can learn things from books, grammar, figure out things. You can practice listening,、uh, things like that. But there are things that you really need help with, you know, that you just don't know what the answers are.、Uh, I mean, I'm sure there are, like I said before, I'm sure there's some people who, who don't need that help, but I need some help regarding、uh, language, of course. So I do, I do、uh, refer to teachers. And I need some help with my body right now. And there's this thing that's、um, interesting me now called、uh, gluten free, which I'm just starting to hear. I mean, I know it's been around people talking about it, but I never really took interest in it. So anyway, before we, before we let it go, please remember if you, want, if you do want to learn a language, And you need professional help. They do have professional teachers at affordable prices at convenient times at italki.com. Easy to use site. You can learn any language you can imagine, unless you just made it up right now. Baby talk, maybe they don't have that.、Uh, go to the site, make an account, pick a language, pick a teacher, schedule a class. Easy as pie. Now, what they don't have on italki.com, or they might, maybe I just haven't looked for it.、Uh, I'll have to look for it when I get back because I haven't thought about looking for it. Is I need an exercise coach and I need. Some nutrition、uh, specialist to tell me about gluten and what it is. Because I honestly, you know, it's one of those things where I hear people talking about it. I'm like, well, I don't know what that is, but it's some kind of neat. I thought it was like that、MG、MGMs or whatever the hell, MGCs. What are those things that they, 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 people worry about being in Chinese food? Like, I don't worry about stuff like that. I never worry about that. I, I know that's not the word, but anyway, whatever, whatever the word is. I thought it was something like that. What is gluten? I, don't even, I didn't even know. And then I saw some、uh, TV show the other day where the guy says, Yeah, I'm on a gluten free diet now, I think. And then people start talking about gluten allergies. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what, what is gluten, right? So yesterday I was teaching a class. One of my students is a, a basketball coach. And she was telling me about a book she'd read by the number one tennis player in the world. And I don't know his name. He's, I think he's Czech, Czech or something from Czecho. Czecho it's not Czechoslovakia anymore. What is it called? What do they call it now? Just Czech? Just Czech, the Czech Republic. I think he's from there. Anyway, could be wrong. It doesn't matter. The point is, the guy says he was number two and number three in the world for years with no real、um, progress, no real help, no real, you know, he couldn't break the barrier of two and three. And,、uh, and then one day, Uh, some doctor calls them and contacts them. Some nutritional ex- expert. By the way, see this black bag? I looked in there to make sure there's no like, dead body in there.、Uh, it's, just, it's just cooking equipment. I always think I'm going to find a dead body. You know, someone's got to find this thing. Anyway, of course, I'd be the number one suspect, right? Where were you?、Um, there was an American, by the way, who dumped his Japanese girlfriend in the river a couple weeks ago. Okay. Now, I got, I got contacted by some Japanese hater saying, Is this your cousin? Yeah, all foreigners are related. <laughs> anyway, back to this. So she, so she tells me the story about the guy who gets contacted by the nutritionist who says, He's a nutritionist and a doctor who says, You have to cut gluten out of your diet. And if you cut gluten out of your diet, you will improve. So he does. And he makes it to number one. So he's number one now. So apparently, you know, I don't know how much of this is true. It's the third person, but. He attributes part of his success to the fact that he cut gluten out of his diet and he became lean and mean,、uh, which he was already because number two and number three is also pretty, pretty damn good. But、um, 
But a lot of his, he says a lot of his critics say he's too skinny, right? So I'm like, what the hell is gluten? I still don't know what gluten is. So apparently it's something in wheat, right? So she tells me, okay, that although she's not competitive anymore, she tells me that just as an experiment, uh, she cuts gluten out of her diet for two weeks. Now what she does, she also tells me is that she still drinks like shochu, like those uh, super, what's it, super, what's it called? The, the, you know, the nine percenters, the strong zero, strong zeros. Yeah, I drink them all the time. And she drinks, she, and she says whiskey's okay. She doesn't drink whiskey, she drinks, she drinks wine. She says wine's okay, and those chew highs, they're called chew highs. They're okay, you can drink those, but you can't drink beer. Um, and you can't have bread. So it's something in wheat, gluten apparently something wheat. And you can't have bread, and you can't have pizza and things like that, anything with bread in it. But she eats rice, and I'm like, good, I love rice. I mean, I like carbs. I don't, know. don't you love carbs? I love carbs. Why don't you marry it? She doesn't love it so much. Okay, so I, uh, I'm listening to her, and I'm thinking, how is that possible? You know, that seems, I've never heard of this. And I talked to Molly this morning, and he's like, ah, it's all bullshit, you know. I'm paraphrasing Molly, so if I get your words wrong, or pardon me. But he's like, humans have been eating, eating wheat for hundreds of, probably thousands, maybe said thousands, thousands of years, yeah. And then suddenly, everyone's, uh, uh, you know, allergic to gluten. You know, apparently I said, so why is, why is everyone allergic to gluten now? He says, no, it's, it's bullshit. It's, uh, he says, it's uh, just the thing to have now, have a gluten allergy. You know, that's what people want to have. So, I don't know. So what do you guys think? Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to try it. I've, you guys know I've tried in the past the, uh, the, what do you call it, the no carb diet for a while. It worked for a while, but then I went back to America. You can't keep a diet on a, on a vacation if you want to, unless you want to inconvenience everyone in your family. Because you can't go out to dinner. We, whenever I go home to, to go to uh, the States, we just go out to dinner every single day. We hardly ever eat at home. Uh, you know, the whole family's together. So, uh, now, the reason I'm particularly interested in this is that I'm, I've hit a wall. I've been jogging every day and eating a little bit less than normal every day. Or at least staying the same, you know. But yesterday, uh, we went to Costco. And my wife bought a blueberry pie. It's huge, you know, for like twelve. Actually, it would have been like ten bucks. Huge pie. And we cut it. We cut half. We cut it in half and gave half to our neighbor, who's always in his favors. And that's the way it is in Japan, you know. You're always sharing food and stuff <laughs> with friends. But anyway, so um, I ate one piece of the pie, and I had two pieces of pizza for dinner. Okay, that was Sunday. Yesterday, Monday, I only had one piece of pizza. And, that, and, no, and actually, I only had pie yesterday. I didn't have any pie the first day. So. But I weighed myself this morning, and I'm the heaviest I've ever been in my life. And it's bizarre, because I feel like I'm in great shape. Um, all, you know, full disclosure, full disclosure, um, I'm, str- I'm like, my upper body's str- stronger than I've ever been. There are little cats around here. My upper body's stronger than I've ever been, but my waist... You know, I mean, I, I don't look that bad. I, I, so I'm, I don't want to be petty with the looks. I don't look that bad. I don't, I don't look, you know. But, 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 yesterday I'm, I'm checking out an old video that actually I never put up. My wife and I were meeting uh, a YouTuber who came, whoops, who came to visit us who came to visit us a while ago. And in the video, you yeah, can I'm see it. It's full of memories. I had to stop and clean it off. I actually did save a part two, but I'm thinking now, yeah, I forgot to say some things. So, when we last got cut off, if memory serves, I was pointing out that my stomach, my waist is not what it used to be. Now, of course, I'm not blind. I've noticed on videos before I'm sitting down, I got the new GoPro. It's, you know, showing the whole room. And I did notice, hey, it looks like I have a bit of a belly there. Must be the angle, right? But, and this is the part I'm not sure I mentioned in the last part where we just got cut off. After a week of taking it pretty easy uh, on the food, you know, not being excessive, being normal, and jogging every day, after one slice of blueberry pie from Costco, and, and a very small amount of pizza, two slices on Sunday, one slice yesterday, I now I registered yesterday, train, my highest weight 
probably in my history, which I'll tell you, 97 kilograms, which is over 200 pounds, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. I don't, I don't know how much. Someone figured out right in the description, comments, I mean. Anyway, now, usually those numbers on the scale don't really mean too much to me because I've always been fit. I've always been proud of my stamina. I can run, I can suffer, I can lift heavy weights, right? I can hold my own pretty much, you know, next to anybody. Uh, but um, considering I'm not a professional actor, athlete, or model, because those guys, you know, they, uh, they spend their whole careers doing that. If you look at Lee Schreiber, uh, Tom Cruise, Lee Schreiber's actually two weeks younger than me. Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Keanu Reeves, all older than me. Uh, Sean Penn, older than me. All those guys look great. And it'd be nice to look pretty good. Yeah, but there's only so much lying you can do to yourself. After a while, you know, a man's got to face the truth. And the truth is, I need some help with the belly. The battle of the bulge is being lost as we speak. No matter how many hours I put in, training, working out, etc. The belly, well, he's a pro most prodigious foe. So I think I'm going to try this uh, no no wheat, glute, anti-gluten, what, gluten-free diet. Tell me, tell me what you guys think of that. Is it bullshit? Am I wasting my time? Uh, yeah, because it would, it would be nice to be like my father was with me. When I was growing up, my father, every morning he had a barbell his bedroom and I would see him lifting it and my brother and I would go we couldn't even budget it was like a joke after all we forgot about it we gave up it was like Thor's hammer you know but my father could put his arms out like this on either side just to show you I had two arms and my brother and I would dangle from his arms you know and someday I'd like to be able to throw my son around like that with that kind of power anyway that's all, all for now I'm gonna show you something funny this kid is riding down the street with his bicycle Look, oh, you missed it. The kid, the kid was on his bicycle, riding down the street. He must have been like t less than 10 years old, squirting water into the air as he drove so he could drive through the mist to cool off. I've never seen that before. Only in Japan, right? Anyway, that's my walk, talk, kind of laundry vlog, kind of walk, talk vlog. And I passed a new part of my neighborhood where they built cookie, cook, cookie, cookie cutter houses, which I do not like. But what are you gonna do? I prefer the old fashioned houses like this. That's enough for now. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Japan. I'm Victor Gimme Brickman, and I'll see you.